afternoon. The uh, homestead mowing's all done, so I'll be back in the workshop tomorrow working on kazoos. But this afternoon, when I got through mowing, brought and parked the tractor and everything, I came inside. And while I was mowing, I got to thinking about a conversation I had in the chat room last night with a couple of old kazoo making friends, and uh, about the oddest things they ever seen a kazoo made out of. And I've made some pretty odd kazoos over the years out of it. That was some pretty odd things. But anyhow, uh, when I was riding the tractor, I got to think, what if I got down to the shop I could make a kazoo out of it in 15 minutes? So. And uh, when I got back to the shop, what I came up with is what I call the front man kazoo. This is an old microphone that uh, I needed uh, about two inches of the end back here that I cut off. And uh, this, it was a broken mic. I just kept the case. And so what I've done is made the front man kazoo. So I'm going to give you a sound test of this stuff. Okay. Okay, now that's playing with the vent hole open. I discovered something about this. I'm bending it through where, well this is actually a wooden kazoo inside here. And I'm bending it right through where the on-off switch used to be at in the uh, old microphone. Now, if you take your finger when you're humming into it and hold over that, you get some different sound. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna do just what I did without closing that off. Just leaving it open for it. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold over that. It adds a nice a nice effect to it. You soften it when you don't cover it and it seems like you bring it up forward when you don't. Open. Front man microphone kazoo. <laughs> and here's one I made a while back when I was in one of these what can I make a kazoo out of in the shop. It's a salt shaker. Old wooden salt shaker. And what I've done is I've drilled a hole in the fat belly side. That's the mouth hole. Bent hole is the little tiny holes for the salt to come out of. I'll just use that. And in the bottom this had a plastic plug about as big as uh, a little bit bigger than a quarter to uh, refill the salt. And what I did was cut the center of that plastic plug out. And then I laid a piece of, of uh, shopping bag over it and pushed the plug into the kazoo, taking that membrane with it and pulling it tight enough. I went over tight enough, but tight enough to, to do the uh, membrane work. And then when I got that in, what I did was I sealed around the whole plastic plug to the wood with uh, beeswax, just melted beeswax. So here is the uh, salt shaker kazoo. Got an interesting sound. But you can make kazoos out of dang near anything. Okay, I will be back in the shop tomorrow working on a couple fat boys here. I've got a uh, custom and a performer that I want to get smoothed in more. And I got some new kazoos up. If you haven't seen the new Fat Boy, Ultimate Fat Boy kazoo, you got to go check that out. This is a dual resonator going to a standard honer neck brace. And I guarantee you, it's got to be the loudest wooden folk kazoo in the world. It's got more power than any other wood kazoo I've ever seen. Okay, you take care, have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, everybody, on the line. Come on everybody, hum along oh, It's a song you all can do Just grab your kazoo Come on everybody, hum along